Oh my goodness, guys, it's finally here. Oh my goodness. Quick, play the titles. Actually, no, forget the titles. It's here. Riddle Transfer 2 or Riddle School Transfer 2, whatever you want to call it. It's here. I kid you not, this was released about two days ago. Bear in mind that Riddle Transfer 1 that we completed the other day was released 10 years ago. 10 years ago, he's finally released Riddle Transfer 2 at the perfect time. So, without further ado, let's play this game. I am so excited. So, so excited. I hope you guys are too. Completely useless. Ha ha ha. So, what happened last time? So basically, we were chased down by the FBI and then the alien Diz just went. He just went. He left us on the alien planet ship FBI place and we escaped down a manhole cover and that's where it ended. So hopefully that explains this. Isn't that how my master worded it? Maybe. Uh, oh, they'll see. They'll all see how much worth I have. He looks like a evil, he looks like Viz, because he's got the four arms going on. In the sewers, so yeah, it, it, it literally just continues straight on. Oh jeez, calm down, I'm being shot at. Quick, Zach, help, help, Smiley, help. There we go, okay, we're good. I saved the day, don't worry, oh, maybe not. <laughs> They've got lasers, of course they do. Oh, the lasers don't even work. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I still can't believe this is out. I still can't believe this is out after 10 years. After 10 years, Riddle Transfer 2. Right, here we are. We've ran into... This is underground in the sewers of the alien place. And we have reached a random location. That's what I like to see. So let's talk to some people. Let's talk to Fred. Any ideas as to how we get out of this mess, Fred? Maybe we could s just find a sleigh of some lemurs. Wh what? No. <laughs> he has no idea. Zach, how you doing? He's now the Flame Lord instead of the Ice Lord. Uh, thinking up an escape plan is hurting my head. I'm pretty sure that's just the fire, Zach. <laughs> Sounds like I've got two hotheads in this room now. And Smiley isn't looking so smiley after all. Um, I'm sorry, I love school, but you've always had better grades than me. What? No way. No way. Right, power box. This needs a key card. Luckily, we have a key card. There we go. This is the second time in a row I've conveniently had a machine-powering doodad on hand. Perfect. So that's now working, which is good. The circuit box. No. What kind of puzzle is this? What? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Um. So we need to power it so that two things. That's that's fine. We need it so that two bits come off of there, and then we just need it to get to here and here, I guess. So let's see if we can work this out. Um. That doesn't work. That does work, I think. We just need to link the other two. This music is intense. This music is really intense. Okay, let's see if we can just link up one and see what happens. Can we link this one? There we go. Oh, wait, did we do it? No, we didn't do it. Okay, we linked up... Wait, let's see. It does It does work. Okay, we've done that. I don't know how, but we did it. That's all good. <laughs> awesome, right. Monitor. Password. Oh. Okay, um, that, that's a problem. We've got a scrap of paper down here that says, Woof. Why is there an evil dog? <laughs> Why is there an evil dog? Graffiti face, Pac-Man, I was ear. Um, there's a little paw print down here as well. There must be something around here where we can see, like, a code or something, surely. Um, um, graffiti is having more fun time than I am. That's true. Uh, there's, like, a, a three or a four there. I'm not really too sure. Portal. This portal seems to be turned on, but doesn't have a destination yet. This sounds pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Can Woof be something like 7003? 7003? Nope. Uh, 3007? Nope. Oh! What am I supposed to do? I need to find a code. Oh! It's that way! It's 4003! I'm pretty sure. 4003, not 7. 4003. Boom! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Good thing Zone's 5.1 security kind of bites. Yeah, that's absolutely terrible. Right. Riddle Elementary. So we're going back to Riddle Elementary School. Portal target coordinates. We need to set the uh, latitude to 39. So let's go to 39. Uh, 39. Come on. 1, 2. Oh, jeez. Is this a puzzle as well? No. No. This goes plus 5, plus 11. Oh, man. I've got to make it up. Oh, this is hurting my brain, guys. This isn't fair. Oh, i done it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so this one adds 5. This one adds 3. So I need to go to minus 77. That minus is 6. So 
Oh, geez, this is gonna be complex. Hey, 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 I think I did it. I did it, activate. Teleporter will be active when power is on. Look at that. Oh, man, that is amazing. Let's go inside, let's do this. Let's not mess around. Ho oh, ho This is so cool. This is so, so cool. Oh, man. I'm so glad this is back. I'm also, I don't know how long this game is this time because obviously it's not happened before yet. Oh, what's going on here? But yeah, I don't know how long this is going to be, so I might have to put it in parts. I'm not too sure, but we'll just go to like, I don't even know. We'll go to it's a good place. Okay, everyone's gone now. This is from the original Riddle School, so this is really, really old. Yeah, we made it. So, who's ready to repeat an entire decade of school? Um, I was reborn ready. I get it. I get it, Smiley. That was clever. There goes my rhetorical question. Indeed. Right. Mrs. Kofi! How's it going? You're the coffee monster, right? She, like, loves coffee. Uh, class. Why have you been absent for the past several days? Uh, we were abducted by aliens. <laughs> a good excuse. If you're still at school and your teacher comes in and asks you something, do not use this as an excuse. It will not work. <laughs> then we got kidnapped by secret agents. That one might work. We had to use a teleporter to get back to class. Um, yeah, yeah, I've heard those before. So what really happened, says Mrs. Kofi. Um, we're, why couldn't we have been in a more convincing sounding double abduction? I mean... We could have really helped it. It wasn't really our fault. Um, well, I've made sure you have time to do makeup work. Oh, jeez. I've decided I'm not going to be having a quiz this week. Yes, no quiz. Actually, I believe you are. Oh, is this the blue guy? This is the blue guy. Here we go. <laughs> it's Fat Viz. I am quiz. <laughs> no way. The new face of Vizion. Oh, this is epic. Look at these purple guys as well. They're so serious. Awesome, so we got Quiz, Viz, and Diz. So Diz, we have no idea where he is, he's the green guy. Then Viz is the red guy who we froze and smashed. And then Quiz, who was just rolled in like this. Oh, I remember, you were the one with the blue text in that one cutscene. Was this right at the beginning? Um, yay, Egghead, thanks for robbing out my boss. Now I've inherited his throne! Ha ha ha! I've become Quiz, judge of all worlds and headmaster of this silly building. Okay, we have an alien as a headmaster now. I guess stopping cliche supervillains is my life now. Definitely. Um, I'd like to see you try that, egghead. I won't be the- Oh, I can't even read. <laughs> I won't be the pushover that Viz was. Ta-ta, worms. Why would you call us worms? That's really evil. <laughs> He's kind of my favorite character already. I like him. I like him a lot. Do we still have to do that makeup work, Mrs. Kofi? Is she still here? Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, we're still here. Why are there guns? Guns? Why? Let's see what Mrs. Kofi says. So, Mrs. Kofi, what do you think about this? I can really go for a cup of coffee or six dozen. <laughs> of course. Right, um, let's see what these guns are about. Boy, Quiz and his minions made some fast modifications to the school. They certainly did. Then we've got Art. Yep. Who is John, bro? He's the creator of the game. Let's see what's in the trash can. Um, it was tricky to reach, but scouring the trash has yielded a light tan paper bag. Awesome, right, Fred, um, is there anything around your desk that seems useful? There's a green backpack on the floor. I'm sure nobody's using it. I hereby confiscate this backpack for science. <laughs> right, let's ask Zach as well. I tried burning my way out this building, but that's too much property damage to pay for. That's true. What about Smiley? How are you holding up, Smiley? I haven't found a reason to smile about this whole situation yet. Ah, that's really upsetting. I don't like hearing that about Smiley. So we have a green backpack and we have a stained paper bag. Can I put this on my face? Come on, I never talk to myself. Wait, what? Oh, right, he's asking if I talk to himself. Can we combine these two? We can, a fill egg tree decoy. Let me see if I can use that on myself. I can, <laughs> that looks nothing like me. Come on, oh, it's scanning me to check that I'm in class. Oh, that's cool, I like that, right. See you later, you, you do that test, you do this test good. Okay, water fountain, we have to press that. Um, where do we go now? Unlocks locker. Oh, math book. It's an exceedingly long division book. Uh, my opinion on this is very divided. Too many puns. Too many puns. So, let's go left because there's less ways to go. And special class for the insane. Was I in this class before? I don't even know. I can't remember. Oh, the Vote 5 poster is gone. Oh, no, because he got put in prison, didn't he? Or something crazy. Uh, oh, hello, we've got an outlet, a crack. And Richie, how you doing, buddy? Feels like I haven't seen you in forever. Um, hi, have we met? You don't remember stopping me in the hallway before I showed you my hall pass? Oh, yeah. Of course not. Who'd remember something as small as that? In that case, let's start over. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name's Phil Eggtree. That's probably the dumbest name I've ever heard. We're off to a good start. Um, 
What do I even ask here? I have no idea. How's life? Do you collect buttons? The school is under control of aliens, breadcrumbs, and beaver spit, or goodbye? Let's ask, um, besides being able to leave your disc, uh, let's do this. My teachers didn't like me ditching my post as a hall monitor, so now I'm in a special class. Oh, this is the detention class that we were in right at the beginning of Riddle School, the first ever video school video. Uh, I don't even have a smart teacher. I'm getting out of this school as soon as possible. Richie, you've got a lot to learn, buddy. You can't just do that. You can't just escape. It doesn't work. You cause... Definite world domination by aliens. Um, do you collect buttons? What kind of dog collects buttons? Um, I reckon you. I reckon you. What about this alien situation? Well, I can't get out even if there's an evil mastermind running the building. So, uh, yeah, don't call him a mastermind. All I've got is some Elmo glue. I'll take it. Give me it. Well, dude, I'm not just going to give you the thing that I remember to bring to school. One dollar, then I'll trust you. Oh, jeez. One dollar, why? Let's just say goodbye. See you later. Outlet. Uh, this is just an outlet, not a creative outlet. I get it. I get it. Right, we've got a crack as well. Uh, I don't know. I think there's chewing gum. Oh, that's got hair on it. Oh, that's gross. Oh, we've got some blackboard information as well. Can we do this? Nope. Can we use this? Nope. Okay. We've got a book that we can't combine with the chewing gum. And I think that's pretty much all we need from here. So we need a dollar. We've learned that we need a dollar from him. Can we get out? Nope. The doors are unlocked. But I'm not. Oh, they are unlocked. Uh, we need to chat with the new headmaster. Okay, right. Who's the janitor in this one? He hasn't even. There isn't even a janitor here. Okay, I'm going to grab the bucket. Uh, I wanted to grab the mop. What about the broom? Nope. Okay, that's perfect. Let's see what else we can do with this stuff. Uh, I want to check if there's more unlocked lockers as well because I don't think there is. Uh, what's going on in the toilets then, eh? Oh, look at this. Very snazzy. The sinks don't work, but at least they look nice. Very nice. I'm going to take the hand soap as well, apparently. Uh, this still seems to be untouched, even by evil alien hands. What about here? I'm pretty sure there's not even a toilet in that stool, so the inside of it is uh, very messy. Ew. Ew. Let's see if we can combine any of these items, because it might be handy to know if we can. I'm pretty sure we can't. It doesn't look like there's anything we can combine. Okay, let's get out of here. Right. No more lockers. No more weird stuff. Women? You gonna do it? I am not looking forward to this. But desperate times call for desperate measures. He's gonna do it! He's actually gonna do it! Ah, uh, what? Oh my goodness. The secrets of a girl's bathroom. What the flozwad? That's a cool name. I like that. I might use that. Um, oh. Okay. Gumball machine. It's it's a gumball machine. What? The lid on this gumball machine is jammed shut. I wonder if I can grease it up a little bit. What about with hand soap? Uh, the gumball slipped out quite nicely with the lubricants. Okay, awesome. Let's grab one of these. Can I take two? I've never been in a women's room before today, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is not what most of them look like. Very true. Um... It doesn't look like there's anything else we can play with here, but we've got a gumball. That's cool. We've actually got a lot of stuff. Um, let's see if we can combine anything else. Can we combine any of this? No. What about this? No, we can't combine any of our stuff yet. Right. Oh, geez. Uh, let's see what the sign says. Any human DNA detected passing through the red lasers will be shot. Nice. Very nice indeed. Futuristic gun. It doesn't look like, like the gun is looking at me, undressing me with its scope. <laughs> Gross. Uh, can we put our bucket on our head? No? Okay. It was worth a try. Where else can we go? I think we've been everywhere so far. What about... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Can we use any of these items on the lasers? It looks like there's an electric box on that side. But we need a way to get through. Wait. Wait a second. Um, not the what I was thinking when I made this poster. There's more than seven students here. Um, well, maybe while Quiz in command of the building, but usually. Because look, there's like a room in here. But I need to get to this electric box. With this wall of lasers in the way, I can't reach the electric box. What if I put... Uh, anything in front of it. Let's put anything in front of it. Come on. Come on. It's got to work. It's got to work. Gumball, come on. No. Um. Jeez, I don't know what to do, actually. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> so instead of a dollar, Richie, how about you take this gumball and said, yo, yo, you're a yo, yo. Um, breadcrumbs and beaver spit. You're so random, man. Uh, can I not give you this? Here, have this. Yo, yo. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, oh, jeez. Is there a way for me to use... What would I use a bucket for? Oh, can I do this? Yeah, the bucket's full of water now, but what do I need to do now? Um, can I use the water on this now? No, can I use this? No, I can't do that. Uh, can't combine any of these. What can I do? There's the janitor's closet has nothing in. Can I click on any of these? Nope, not that one. What about this? Oh, I'm boiling the water on his head. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, let me know if this is awkward. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. <laughs> I don't think so. It's definitely awkward. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so now we have boiling water. But why would I need that? I literally don't know. Can I use that on this? Let's see. No. How do I... Why do I... Why would I need boiling water? Uh, can I use soap on anyone? Let's try using soap on any people. I don't know why I need hot water. Um, soap. Take the soap. Take the soap. Take the soap. Take the soap. Anyone, take the soap. Oh, wait a second. Look. So, Mrs. Kofi, what do you think about all of this? I could really go for a cup of coffee. We don't have a coffee maker here, so how else can we make coffee? I think I could conjure up a hot liquid that tastes like coffee. So, we need something that tastes like coffee. We've got the boiling water, but the gumball doesn't work. What about the gumball on his head? No? I tried burning my... Oh, I've already, I've already read that. Um, oh, oh, guys, I've done something by accident. Oh, uh, I didn't know. I thought I'd already done this, but you can throw the gum at the electric box. And then... Oh, because it's got DNA on it. The DNA, the gun's got DNA on it. Oh, man, that is so clever. That is so clever. My goodness. Can we look in this? Nope. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> oh, Chubb. How, how you doing, buddy? I really wanted you to be here. Um, That's just... <laughs> it's a foam fire extinguisher. That's amazing. We give him this gumball. I asked Chubb if he wants this first instead of shoving it in his face. Okay. Hey, Chubb. Hmm. I like fat jokes, but I'm sorry for calling you a fatty. That was out of line. Oh, yeah. You should be sorry for that one. It wasn't witty. You can come up with better material than that, bald eagle. He <laughs> could be a bald eagle. I like the way you think, earthquake generator. <laughs> and now that's better. Um, So anything new with you? I don't mind being obese, except for the part where it's really unhealthy. That's fair. So I'm kind of on the fence whether I should stay like this or lose some weight. Just don't break the fence while you're sitting on it. Ah, ah, ah. Lots of laughing. No, but probably you, you should probably lose a few pounds. True. Could you scooch over a little bit? I liked you, but I can't move. I'm only here because some aliens set me in front of the door. Usually I can't get myself to move without sugary energy boost like a cookie. Oh yeah, I'm also sorry I misled you into thinking the cookie machine wasn't broken. We all make mistakes. I don't have a use for this dollar, so you can have it back now. Yes, if I find any cookies lying around, I'll let you know. Uh, did you hear that the school has been overtaken by a fat creature? That clod? There's only room for one fat guy around here, and that's me. Right, see you around. So now we've got the dollar. We can go and get the whatever it needs from this stupid guy Richie here have a dollar bro I have a dollar that says I can stop with this alien takeover with your help all right I'll trade you for my glue stick take care of it no worries this bottle and I will stick together like glue please never ever say that again <laughs> right can we combine any of these things let's combine these no what about these two no this what about this no okay so why would we need glue I'm so confused. Let's carry on going anyway. So, there's a way to get in this room there. There's only one more room left, but I don't know what it is. The cafeteria, of course it is. Let's go in there. Um, coffee grounds. Nice. I think I'll carry around these coffee grounds because why not? Awesome. Okay. Mustard smudge, something, a blueberry wet aid, and a cookie machine. The cookie machine's still broken. Death will come to us all. Okay, so now I should be able to combine this, and I've got a bucket of coffee. Fantastic. Let's go and see if she wants it. Here we go. Uh, Mrs. Kofi, do you want this Kofi? Kofi, you know what I'm saying. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Drink it. Oh, jeez. She's drinking a whole bucket of coffee? You're a nutcase. You're an absolute... Oh, my goodness. Here she goes. Here she goes. She's going to take off. <laughs> She's actually going to take off. You okay? I have no idea how Mrs. Kofi's hand does that, but this room became a laceration hazard. What if I throw the gumball on there? Nope. Okay. What if I throw the glue stick? No. Nope. What about the uh, the book? No. Nope. What about the soap? No. Okay. So why would I need to do that? Um. It came a laceration hazard. Okay. No one says anything different. Why did I need to give her a coffee? I'm so confused. Can I give him a gumball? Let's see if that works. Here you go. Yes. Does it work? I think it works. Okay. We're actually making really good progress. Hey! <laughs> the teacher's lounge is now open. Awesome! Okay, let's uh let's go in there and see what happens. Oh my goodness, what are you? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh this side left, eye drops. Hello, guard monster, how are you? Um, howdy do. That's a lot of text. Okay, what's your name? Um, I'm Nitwit. My mum and pop thought it sounded intelligent. I need to speak with your master. He told me you didn't want to speak with him, and I take his word over yours. Oh, right, yeah, that's fair, of course. May I have your eye drops? Oh, it ain't easy having no eyelid. Keeps Eye drops keep me comfortable. I mean, I can just function fine with a dry eye, but it just gets irritated. Okay, let me just quickly grab these. 
Uh, I see you iron up my eye drops. Lay off if you know what's good for you. Okay, we can't take those. I have an idea, though. I think I have an idea. Does your eye feel dry right now? Now that you mention it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to moisten it up. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> this guy is really strange, but awesome. Hey, you're an idiot. Pa! I'd pass every class at your school on day one and beat you at chess at the same time. Okay, calm down. It's a little bit aggressive. I hate to tell you, but you're in the way of the principal's office. Of course I'm in the way. The headmaster's right through this door. You mean quiz? Uh, obviously I mean quiz. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, then I'll just have to sneak in elsewhere. Breadcrumbs and beaver spit. No, okay. Um, I think we should throw this on his eye. Hello. How do you do? Okay, maybe not. Uh, what about this? Can't put anything there while I have an audience. Um, glue stick? No, the glue stick doesn't work either. What about this? No. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, I get this. Look, box office. That's amazing. Someone must have put this box right here, then left the room. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Um, I've said everything that I can to him. It's said something about his eye drops. He doesn't want me to take the eye drops. But I need him to be somewhere else so I can take the eye drops. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's see where fat guy went. Where did fat guy go? Did he just leave? Did he just straight up leave? <laughs> well, if I just give him this, he said he was smart. I bet you can't solve the maths equations in this feeble earthling textbook. Ah, oh, here we go. This is it. You think I'm done, do you? Oh, it's on. Give me these. There we go. Got the eye drops. Oh, I've got an idea. Can I replace them with this? Yes. Okay, can I have them back now? These are these problems are child's play. Do you want your book back? Yes. Your insect is truly superior. Give me that. <laughs> right. Is your eye dry now? Is what I need to ask him. Here we go. This does feel a little dry, but there's clearly a soap container where my eye drops used to be. Oh. Okay. I thought I was being. I thought I was being. Um. I thought I was being smart. Um. Oh dear. Okay, another idea. I'm sure, not sure why they're soapy. You can take it. Can I mix these? If I'm gonna put anything in this eye drops thing, I need to find a way to open it. Okay. Um. Why is it locked? <laughs> why is it locked? Oh, wait a second. Can we use this? Yeah, there we go. Slice it straight off the top. That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. Okay, right. Now we've got this. We can put the hand soap inside. Now I need to find a way to stick the two parts of this container back together. Luckily, I have some glue and eyedropper full of soap has been created. Okay, you're about to get absolutely burnt, son. There you go. Put that back. Oh, yeah. I need to give him the book. There we go. Then I need to put the soap down here. And then, um, yeah, I'll take that back. And now I need to tell him that his eye is dry. Now that you mention it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to moisten up. Here we go. It's gonna burn. Ow! Oh! <laughs> that face though. Oh, that was magic. So, let's go into the principal's office and see what's going down. Here he is. Look at him with his fingers just all pressed together. How you doing, buddy, huh? How did you get in here? Well, I I, I walked in. I, I just walked in. That's, that's what I did. Here we go. Through the door. That's how I did it. There you go. <laughs> so epic and tense. Dude, I'm busy, like, dominating your entire stupid planet. Nope, nope, nope. You call putting some turrets in an elementary school dominating the planet, huh? Is that what you call it? <laughs> this conversation is over. No, no, it's not. It's definitely not. If you are a new headmaster, maybe it's about time you did something educational. Quiz? I'd like to propose a quiz. Let's do this. Oh, what? Let's do a quiz. I'll ask you some questions, and you don't have to answer them for me. I just give me uh, well, uh, just give me a few answers to choose from, and I'll take a guess which is right. Uh, well, that seems fine. After all, you humans are all bad at multiple choice. I definitely am bad at multiple choice. You failed this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you behind to die. Yeah, he did do that. I'm very upset. Hey, it's not his fault he has longer running legs than me and my friends do. You chump. Question one. Vision was a project dedicated to destroying every planet with an evil population. Now, tell me, after Viz's death, who was the first subordinate eligible to take his place? This is long. This is really hard. Who was the first individual in Viz's line of succession? Uh... Oh no, this is bad. Uh, I don't think it was Diz. Was it Quiz? Was it just Quiz? Let me see. Uh, boom! Well, of course, I was Viz's first choice. I'm in charge now. Hmm, we'll see about that. <laughs> Question two, I think I got it right. What was Viz's opinion of you? What was Viz's impression of Quiz, aka me? Um, talented, cool, nerdy, or useless? 
Let's say useless. Useless? What do you mean useless? I heard it with my own invisible ears back when I was just waking up from a long dream. Ah, I remember that now. Yeah, I do remember that. Quiz, you're completely useless. Why, you? <laughs> Question three. How many of Viz's lackeys did he allow to use his data and technology regarding Vizion? Oh, I don't actually know. Uh, how many minions tied to Vizion did Viz let access his data and technology for the project? A select few? Oh, only the top dogs had any idea what Viz was doing. I knew, Diz knew, and that's about it. I think we just mastered it. Intriguing. How many questions? Question four. You said a minute ago you'll fail this quiz faster than your buddy Diz left you to die. How could you have known about that? Ah. Ah. Can I skip this one? No. No, you can't. <laughs> Use your paper. <laughs> this is awesome. I have no idea why we're giving him a quiz, but hey. Uh, how did I, Quiz, know about Diz running off and leaving you and your friends for dead? He told me, or he saw it. So, did Diz come running back to Quiz? So, just confusing, isn't it? Um, did get Diz go back to Quiz, or did he see it with his very own eyes? Um, uh, I'm gonna say he told me. I, I think Diz and Quiz are working together. Yeah, duh! He told me when he- uh, I don't think this is right, is it? Um... Uh, very convincing response. Let's try that one again. I saw it. Explain, Q. So we only got one question wrong. That's pretty good. I, uh, I, uh, you can't even explain. Final question. Here we go. Zone 5.1. The place where my friends and I were trapped. Who owns that place? Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. Who owns Zone 5.1? I guess this quiz just became a fill in the blank. <laughs> what is going on? This is so random. I'm guessing a quiz owned it. Here we go. Here's what I believe is the whole story. Here we go. We're going for story time. The three leading figures of Vision were Viz, Diz, and you. Quiz. Okay. One, two, and three. Diz was second in command. You were third because Viz considered you were a useless underling. As such, Viz only shared the nitty gritty details of his plans with Diz. So when Viz was cut out of the picture, it was up to Diz. He was technically in charge of the fate of Vision. But if Diz decided to put an end to the project, you would never inherit the powerful top spot. You needed to eliminate Diz fast, but not without learning all the project's secrets. That's where Zone 5.1 comes in. Here we go. Zone 5.1 has a machine that can read minds and translate it into data. If you could get Diz in that machine, you could extract all the necessary data and keep Diz at bay. That's very, very true. And that's what that's what he did, wasn't it? That's exactly what he did. So you signaled Zone 5.1 with Diz's whereabouts and killed two birds with one stone. There we go. He was dragged into the middle and, and Quiz was now master. That was an easy task because Vizion owns 5.1. Okay. Television. <laughs> they even placed useless Vizion's... <laughs> That's amazing. They even use Vision's TV screens. There must have been years of studies done before the project determined Earth to be evil. Zone 5.1 isn't just a place to research rare animals. It's a testing ground where Viz observes humans. Okay, awesome. But one thing you got in the way of your plan to steal Diz's newly inherited throne was me. Ah, ah, ah. We did it. We did it. That's awesome. The machine never got all the data you needed to reign over the cosmos. Amazing, because we messed it up. And now you're here, hopelessly lost in your quest to be a true leader. Oh, he's gonna cry. It's true, I'm no leader. Oh, he's actually gonna cry. Uh, I even let you walk all over me with that whole quizzing idea. Oh, man, I feel sorry for him. There's still time to do what's right, quiz. Definitely. Just let my friends and this school free. Please. Please. You're right. You're definitely right. You humans can be smarter and wiser than I gave you credit for. I've stopped doing his voice. So I'll change his voice. <laughs> okay, what's he doing? All security measures are now offline. There we go. Look at that. Is this the end? Oh, I hope this is not the end. Oh, it's it's filling me with feels right now. Look at this. Is he going home? Oh, Quiz, I kind of like him now. I told you he was my favorite character at the beginning of the video. Uh, after I return to my home base, I'll put an end to this Vision nonsense myself. Awesome. Great. That's fantastic. You've opened up my eyes. It is up to the civil civilizations of the universe to judge themselves. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Egghead. <laughs> Sorry, Eggtree. Phil Eggtree. No problem. Stay classy, Quiz. See you later, buddy. Go and make peace like a true leader. Get out of here. What's that? What's that? What on earth is that? Uh oh. Could that be? What? 
What is happening? Oh, no. What? No! Oh, he's evil! He's evil! Joy of joys! This doomsday device can use ice from its comets as fuel! Oh my goodness, I was ready for it to end then. Finally, nothing is in my way. Not Viz, not Quiz, not those meddling kids. Now Vision is my vision. No more beating around the bush with that judge the planet's garbage. Just pure cathartic destruction of all civilization. I can't even say it. Civilizations in sight. This is up there. It must be him. Okay, this is intense. Take me up there in your ship, Quiz. I will do what I have to do to stop him. This is intense. <laughs> Does this mean you have a plan? No. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, I've got nothing. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dear. Uh, but we have no choice but to try. Let's go. Come on. Let's get out of here. We're wasting time. You're right. I'll take you closer to the lights. Let's do this. I keep changing his voice. I have no idea. But before I go, what are we doing? Smiley? Uh, what's going on? I used to tease you a lot because I didn't understand you. But now I realize you're a true role model for me. <laughs> what is going on? And you have a beautiful smile. That's so cute. I know, Smiley. That's so cute. Oh, oh, they like each other. Well, at least um, Phil likes Smiley, which is really cute. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Right, here we go. I've never tried to use this shuttle for combat before, so it's up to you to find something we can use to fight that ship. Um, glue or hand soap, which one? <laughs> That's all I've got. Uh, we've got a front panel. We've got some stuff, a key. I'm not getting whatever's in this panel unless I find a key. Okay, uh, do you have a key? Quiz, do you have a key? I've never used most of the equipment in the shuttle. I'd help figure it out, but I need to keep the shuttle as stable as I can. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do now? Um, I can't put this in there, can I? Nope. Uh, what about this? Nope. What about this? Nope. <laughs> um, there can't be many places to find a key, can there? That laser is targeted to freeze the Earth. Blocking the shot with this space shuttle would only be a temporary fatal solution. Okay. Um, behind the seats. Okay, let's go behind the seats. Escape pod, neon sign, blue compartment, blue compartment, red compartment, green compartment. Uh, display panel. Oh, man, this is intense. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, it's another puzzle. No! It's another one of these. Oh, this is going to take forever. I need to change. Oh, wait, that was close. That was really close. I messed it up, though. Okay, we need to change all of these to evil reds and then they'll unlock stuff. So, give me a second. I'll, I'll be back when I've completed this. Yes, I did it. Okay, awesome. Is that all I needed to do? That's done. Okay, green compartment. This is... Is this Diz's face? No way. I need to do the outside and then the in. Wait, where does this go? I think that goes like this. And then this goes... Yep, like that. And then this... Oh, wait, that was it. That was almost it. And then this spins around to here. Done it. Yeah, that's Dizzy's face. And then this is a sliding puzzle. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. This is this is going to be intense. Right, let's go. I think that goes there. This needs to go there. And... Oh, this puzzle is blowing my mind a little bit. I think I've almost done it. Oh, I done it. Nice. I did it. Okay, all three are done. What does that mean? What does that mean? I've done it. I've done all the blue. I've done the green. I've done the red. Uh, does that not do anything? And now I've got a display panel, so that must be something on here. Escape pod. E-A-C-C. -C. So the way this is flashing is E-A-C-C-A. -C -C -A. So let's try that. E-A-C-C-A. -C -C -A. Enter. Oh my goodness! I'm on fire today. I'm on fire. Oh my goodness. That was the most... Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I just worked that out. That was insane. Right, now we can use the key on the front panel. So let's see this. Here we go. It's all done. All the colors... Are... What? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, what? Is that it? <laughs> that's all that's on here? I would have thought you had some ammunition in this fancy spacecraft. Isn't there anything else? No? Nothing else at all? Come on, Quiz. Come on. Don't do it. What? No! Why are you doing? Take the escape pod. Oh, no. Is he going to sacrifice himself? But... There's only room for one of us in that escape pod, Phil. The clock is ticking. I will finish this. Oh, no. Go and be with your friends on Earth. Oh, I don't want this to happen. I like him. I like him a lot. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to cry. That's so bad. Oh, I actually did it. Is he going to do it? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. He's so confused. He's like, oh, oh, he's realized. Come on. Don't shed a tear because you'll make me cry. Oh, he did it. He actually did it. He actually did it. 
Oh, man. Do we survive, though? I hope we survived. There I am. Here I am. Escape pod. Boom. Nice. Hello. <laughs> oh, Smiley's so happy. Are we like... Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are they boyfriend and girlfriend now? Oh, he's got a smile. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. This is so cute. Here we go, photo album. I think this is the end now. I was gonna split this into two videos, but I think I'm just gonna do one photo album. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like um, uh, reminiscing over everything. Created by John O'Chrome, John Bro. If you're watching this by any random chance, thank you for making this game. This has been an amazing game. Originally inspired by Pico School. Oh, look at that. So they're playing Game Boys together. And there's pictures of cows for some reason. Oh, look, Fred! Fred and his whistle and the tuba and stuff. <laughs> yes. Oh. The feels are strong. Big thanks to you. Oh! I'm on there! It means a whole lot to me to see Riddle School shared and enjoyed by awesome channels. Thank you! I'm on there! That's awesome! Thanks to Scott Cawthorn. He was the guy who made Five Nights Freddy for inspiring a change in my outlook on life and creativity. Oh, they got engaged! Oh my goodness, they got engaged. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ah, oh, so he did see the videos. Thank you. That's so awesome. I'm glad I kind of helped you to, I maybe inspired you to make, well, helped to inspire you, make this game. The, the final riddle school, which I'm really, really happy that you did. So it was an amazing end to a story because the pressure to put a um, an end to a story that's 10 years old is massive. And he's done it perfectly and smiley and Phil. He's, she's going to be Mrs. Egg Tree. <laughs> that's so cute. Happy 10th anniversary, riddle school. Happy 10th anniversary. That's amazing. That, that's really amazing. This was awesome. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I'm kind of sad that this is actually the end now. <laughs> like, really sad. That's... Oh, I don't even know what to say. That's awesome. And th thank you so much for putting me in the special thanks. That's crazy. That's it. That's it. That's so cute. That is so cute. That is so cute. Look at them. Old Phil. Old Smiley. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Guys! Guys! What's gonna happen now? What's that noise? Hello? Hello? That was just a play button. Oh, okay. I was like, is that gonna be like some cliffhanger? Special features. Let's quickly see the introspective, retrospective. A lot can change in a person's mind in five or ten years is worth reflecting. Progress log. Riddle Transfer 2 and Riddle School 2 had the same development time of two weeks. So we could have made this game because we uploaded the first Riddle School video. I want to say like three three weeks ago so he could have made this game an inspiration which is absolutely amazing so um that's awesome that's really awesome i'm sad it's over so now guys it's definitely over unless he decides to make another game i'll definitely look out for more games that he makes because they're awesome so guys Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support on this series. The support on this series is absolutely phenomenal. This is the last episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and enjoyed the last episode as much as I did, then please do a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing. Join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying the series as much as I did. You can follow me on Twitter in the description below too if you do so wish. Thank you, John O'Quarren, for making such an amazing series of games. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Goodbye! Yeah.